Shalom, shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Kurash, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name, and His only begotten Son, true name being Yahweh Shai, both in the Hebrew language, whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also, I want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching the truth worldwide. And shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers. All right. Thought the, um, well, coming across this article, my first thought was to shed light on truly our enemy, man. All right. Just, just shedding light. <clears throat> on our enemy and our enemy according to the bible our enemy according to the scriptures okay being esau edom all right the so-called white nation man our top enemy because the heathens are, are our enemy as well these other nations those that are outside you negroes latinos and you native americans whom you make up the 12 tribes of israel all right you are the hebrew israelites according to the bible okay well for the heathens and especially esau edom and these other nations all right this is this is just a sign all right, they just shedding light on how and how they how they view us. All right, how they look at this this art this article here from NBCNews.com. All right, it says or or it reads New Florida standards teach students that some black people benefited from slavery because it taught useful skills. All right, so it's basically in that same mentality or that mindset of you know slavery wasn't so bad. It's, it's it was of old. Get over it. You know, and ultimately we understand it. Why? Because we we were disobedient to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So yes, we 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 went through slavery as a nation because of our disobedience. Because what the scriptures say, and let's get that first. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the Lord unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So one of those curses in, in this entire Deuteronomy chapter 28 involves slavery. OK, well, what, hit, what hits the nail on the uh, what's, what's truly the icing on the cake and proving that is the last verse within this chapter. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. So yeah, the Lord brought us into what? It's Egypt going into what? Bondage, slavery. It says again with ships. So this is your slave trade in the in the scriptures, in the Bible. All right, clear as day. All right, straight to the point. Okay, the Lord did this. The Lord put us in that in that uh. <laughs> What they what they want to say a beneficial slavery. The Lord did that to us, man. All right, before for our punishment to this very day. Okay, it says thou shalt see it no more again. Speaking upon our homeland, our true homeland will be in the Middle East, Jerusalem, Israel. All right, it says and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. So in other words, slave men and slave women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning no one will be able to redeem us out of this situation except until Yahweh shall returns. That's why it's so important for us what to hasten the day for our Savior. Yahweh Shah that is soon to return. All right. And the times we've been in right now. Okay. After of course <clears throat> why these prophecies are fulfilled, man. Okay. So yeah, back to the article and back to this 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 is such an enemy statement. All right. But this is the show. All right, because our people you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we, hey, you sub, you indirectly, well, uh, subconsciously and consciously look up to the so-called white man. Try to live like him. Try to talk like him. Try to think like him. Try to move like him. All right, this this is reality. This is this is fact. All right, especially from the school system to the corporate jobs, blue collar, white collar, however you want to put it, it's all envying the oppressor. All right, because they we our people are chasing chasing that bag, chasing that status. Of the so-called white man when it's truly not for you. This is not our risk. All right. The Lord is going to destroy the so-called white man's infrastructure. Destroy his kingdom. According to the scriptures. By thermonuclear missile fire. All right. And plagues that he's going to do to the earth. All right. And do to this kingdom. All right. And do to that nation of people. But it says new Florida standards teach students that some black people benefited from slavery. Because it taught useful skills. 
<laughs> all right? This this they were just such an asshole statement, man. All right? I guess and these are pictures of uh uh the Florida the Florida governor and also the Florida um education commissioner, all right? But going down just to read a, a couple things. It says <clears throat> and this is recent. This is from July 20th, 2023. This month, a few days back, it says Florida's public schools will now teach students that some black people benefited from slavery because it taught them useful skills. Part of a new African American history standard. They were not African American. Man, we're the true the true our true identity, all right, our true nationality will be Hebrew Israelites according to the scriptures, man. All right. We are not African Americans. Okay. Just to continue to debunk this term that is pushed so heavily upon our people. Okay. And then we can and then we can grab that as well. Second uh second Corinthians chapter eleven. All right. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul speaking, and what does it say? Well, what does it read? It says, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. So yes, our true biblical identity will be Hebrew Israelites, okay? Hebrew being our native tongue and Israel being our native land. We are Hebrew Israelites, and yes, it's about a bloodline. It's about a lineage, all right? And that lineage is through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, that's what makes up the, <coughs> so like, that's what makes you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites, because you descend from that bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, straight, that's, that's clear as day. All right, and what makes the so-called white nation Edomites, because they descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. All right, simple as that. All right, so yeah. Um, continuing on, it says, It was approved Wednesday that were blasted by state teachers as they stepped backwards. So, yeah, you got because you got liberals thinking like, this is just not right. And ultimately, deep down in their spirit, they they agree. <laughs> you know, they agree, but they just don't want to, you know, they don't want to come out and be upfront about it. All right. Because we're dealing with we're dealing with we're dealing with demons and devils and deceivers that are up front with it. And you're dealing with some that are that just that just hide it behind the scenes. But truly did that deep down in their spirit it's still one in the same. man. OK. But it says, it says the Florida State Board of Education's new standards includes controversial language about how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for personal benefit. All right. The point, it is, and that's point, that's the point. The point is truly made. The point is here in the article that this is, this is a real thing happening. All right. And this is just our enemy flexing his muscle, man. Mocking, it's truly, it's truly like a mockery. You know, and you got you got some people, Florida students protesting it. You know, just you know, you know that's not that's not gonna, bro. We don't care about that. What's going to what we care about is what <laughs> Revelation chapter thirteen, Revelation chapter thirteen verse nine, because this is what's gonna happen. You know, you hear after you hear a statement from this, this is the really probably the first scripture that comes to mind. You guys will be in slavery. You guys will benefit from that. All right. <laughs> This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So this is this is Bible prophecy. This is to be revealed unto you heathen nations. All right. He that relieveth, so like he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who who were who sold us on those slave ships that we read about in Deuteronomy chapter 28? Who did that to, to the 12 tribes of Israel? All right. Who did it? Who did that to the to the Israelites? To you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are scattered worldwide. All right, not only in Americas, not only in Africa, okay, but worldwide, man. All right, who, what, all the nations have had taken part in our slavery, man, to this very day. It says, He that killed it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience in the faith of the saints. So, those that took us into slavery will be going into slavery. Those that killed us with the sword will be judged with the sword as well. All right, and this is the patience in the faith of who? The saints, the Israelites, okay. This is the beauty of it all. This is the gospel. This is the good news. All right. This is what they don't want you to know. So you, you, we come across statements like this. That's fine. This is fine. We we read this with a smile on our face because we understand what Bible prophecy says. All right. This is what we we have hope in. All right. This is what we we believe in. We know that it's going to happen because we're dealing with a, a true power. All right. Which we're dealing with prophecy. All right. The sure word of prophecy. Okay. And concerning our enemy, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10, in the book of the Apocrypha. 
Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. It's going to show, all right? Even though it delays, the rust is going to show on that metal. The same way our enemy true characteristics of how he feels about us is going to show, all right? This and it's showing. This is just one, this is just one example, all right, that I want to shed light to, man, because our people got to wake up to the bullshit, all right? Our people are, are, are just sleep. They they rather, they rather hate a nigga than actually rate, hating the real enemy, all right? They rather hate each other, but that's all due to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 if you read the verses, okay? But they, our people rather hate each other. They, they think it's cool to hate each other instead of hating the nation that actually has afforded the affliction upon us, man. Is that is troubling and punishing and making our, our lives a living hell each and every day, okay? But it's uh, verse 11. It reads, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So yeah, though, and this is the spirit of Edomites, man. Though they humble themselves, they shake your hand, they, they give you that good old Edomite smirk. Okay, but man, take good heed. Be be aware, man. Do not let that get you off guard. The same way with their plans and their agendas to basically take over your spirit, take over, take over your, take over your life. All right, through technology, through this CBDC, through this, uh, th through the transition, and ultimately due to this technology that they're trying to implant under implant under the skin of truly of of all human bodies, a part of the new uh, NWO, man. Okay. But verse 12, it says, Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And though at that last, it says, And though at the last, remember my words and be pricked therewith. So yeah, we take heed to scriptures like this, man. All right, this lets us be fully aware all right, of these Edomites and to not never let our guard down. Okay? In, in, in articles like this, this remind us, man, of, of, of who our enemy is, all right, and that's part of the truth. That's part of realizing. That's that's part of uh, that's part of um. <clears throat> so like people waking up, man. Okay, or realizing that the so-called white man Esau Edom is your enemy. Okay, and that the Lord also hates your enemy as well. When you read Romans, it's all over the. Just to bring one scripture, okay. It's a plethora of scriptures, okay. But this is Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. All right, and this is it. This is clearly in the Bible. Okay, so God doesn't love every nation. God does not love everybody. He loves the Israelites. Okay, simple as that. He's going to judge the wicked of our people. Simple as that in these last days. <coughs> so this is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob, back to that lineage that was mentioned in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22, when, when Paul was speaking, is it, are they of the seed of Abraham? So am I. Yeah, because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right, so those that descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Lord is for you. The Lord loves you, okay? The kingdom is for you. All right, you will have slaves, okay? You are scattered all, you, you're, you're cursed as of right now, but this is not this is not the end all be all, all right? But it says, but Esau have I hated. So for you Edomites, the so-called white nation today, all right, even if you're in Russia, you're in America, Edomites and also you heathen that 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 are uh, in a in a in allegiance with him, okay. The Lord also hates you, okay. And, he, and the Lord's going to show you. He's going to show you. Just like we read Revelation chapter thirteen, the Lord's going to show you that He hates you. All right. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the with God? God forbid. So is is, is God wrong? Is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai wrong for this decision? It says God forbid. No. All right. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So simply in other words, the Lord does what he wants. All right, and no one can question that. And if you do, you're faithless. If you do, judgment awaits you. Simple as that. All right. So uh Lord willing, uh this you know, some a little bit of light was shed upon truly of how our enemy thinks of us, man. All right, and this is the and this is the true persona, okay, of how of how to Edomite nation moves, okay? So yeah, wake up, you know, wake up to to all the facts around that that is being pushed, okay? That is being pushed by the true prophets, primarily uh to, by the true prophets of the Hebrew Israelites, primarily of the branch of Great Millstone. All right, so Lord willing, this was edifying and also encouraging.
to you sincere believers, I want to end up by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechav Kodash. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent, Yahweh Shai is coming back. And this is the reason why we need him to come back. All right, all right, Shalom. Keep the faith, Shalom.